Cebu City from around next month we'll start to see new arrivals of the my bus um, before people get too excited the fleet's going to be about 70 buses um, for Cebu but it's not going to be replacing jeepney routes but actually more for supporting SM's new big seaside, uh, seaside uh, mall and developments um, as well as having pickups throughout certain areas of Cebu. Um, there'll be a route from Talise Park Mall which will give it routes from the south Talise and north uh, Park Mall which is in Mandawi um, so that's those two areas covered north and south of the new seaside city. For those arriving in Cebu uh, via Mactan Airport you'll also be pleased to know that the bus service will run from there as well. Uh, this is actually a very good route for commuters because you can avoid the uh, taxi hikes etc because you can actually get to the seaside mall which gives you more access to buses, uh, buses and the uh, taxi services in the area at a much lower rate. So if you're unfamiliar with the route, um, what you've actually got on this map is where the four main locations are but the actual routes proposed um, will run from Talise to Mactan Airport obviously it will stop out, out the mall on the way through uh, you've got Talise to Manda Mandawi City um, which is useful for expats for visa processing because it's up on Mandawi uh, Talise City to Mambaling Mambaling is actually the was where the mall is uh, Mandawi City to Mambaling exactly the same it's um, where the the resort will be resort mall residences so about half the fleet will arrive by next month and actually start working away um, the contracts have gone to big players so you've got Mercedes Volvo and I think Daewoo supplying the buses so they're good quality buses uh, on top of that the buses are air-conditioned Wi-Fi I think we've got seat for 42 but we're standing up to 90 passengers at a time. The, pa the bus waiting time you should expect to wait a maximum of 9 minutes uh, between the different buses so the service looks pretty reliable at the moment it's been sold well in the media and I can see it having a lot of positive things for Cebu especially with interlinks the airport and the uh, residency stroke mall because I know a lot of people ask me about commuting around Cebu and they wouldn't be interested in half a Cebu um, I'll be honest with you, I know people that stay at Ayala Mall they, they've got the condos next to it they don't actually go anywhere else from there they come to Cebu, go to their condo, go to the mall don't go anywhere else so this looks like it's going to be a very similar setup but it's a much more uh, structured system because obviously if you're shuttle busing straight from the airport to the residences then you're you're going to feel a bit safer let's put it that way and then you're in a huge development bit of a final recap on the bus system first thing you've got four major stops uh, there will be a total of 18 stops that have actually been put forward but they're not all identified as to where and where they're located etc uh, total investment in this system is about 1 billion pesos. The cost of the fares, although still to be agreed, are estimated to be 25, 40 and 75 pesos. Um, the buses themselves, there's a total of 77 buses being purchased. Um, the buses have got some disabled adaption systems in there. Now I'm not sure how good they are, but judging by the fact that these are major manufacturers of the buses, it's very likely to have the tip, etc. Where a wheelchair access and that could be done. Waiting to see the first bus to actually um, make a decision on that one. But there's a live passenger info system, so it can tell you how long to the next stop. Which ties in with the GPS systems that are built onto the buses as well. Um, there are air conditions, you've got Wi-Fi and I would expect CCTV systems to be part of the normal installation as well which may uh, uh, help in deterring any um, criminal activity although I expect this route to be quite a 
secure one purely because of it being part of the SM guys because um, they do invest a fair bit in security I mean if you go to the malls there's a lot of security and I'm sure because the this bus system is interlinked with different locations like the airport etc they're all in very um, secure routes um, so I, myself I think this is a great idea I think it can actually help with the investment to finish the SMC seaside whatever they want to call it um, because like I was saying earlier I know a lot of people that aren't interested in the actual outside of the Philippines they're looking for somewhere to retire somewhere where all the facilities somewhere where they can come out of a condo get down a lift walk out and you're in the shopping mall they're happy with that not my life but I know they're happy with that and I can't knock it if that's what makes them happy so this system could actually help bring a lot of foreign investment into the country as well um, I assume a lot of it's going to come from Asia rather than the West though um, you know as a, a retirement hub we'll wait and see alright thanks for watching